seems to be in working order, music's on, chat's going on. All that's left is to check and see how I look on stream. Oh shit! Second, 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 I'm okay. Everything is fine, everything is under control. I am completely normal. Completely normal looking, not freaky at all. Do not be alarmed, do not be scared. I promise you. Ah. Ah. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that little hiccup, everybody. Nice to meet y'all. My name is Ryzeer, and I had a voice crack. Because I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> uh, it's finally nice to be here. I'm just a nice little alien from a little old planet known as... Well, you know, we'll get into that later. But it's so nice to finally meet everyone. I love humanity. It's been... Mm, mm. I've been wanting this for so long, and now it's finally here. Yee. Um, uh, so how is everyone? I hope your days are all going well. Um, here is my horde. I mean, my living space. It's not a horde. The hordes are a complete and utter stereotype. Uh, we don't do that. This is just uh, cultural norms. I promise you. The streamer is very normal and not fucked up. Come closer. I am perfectly normal. Do not even start that. <laughs> I am not odd in the slightest. Minus the tail and the horns and the eyes and the underbite. But you know what? It's how it was made. It was how it was born. Um, it's a stylistic choice. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, finally here after uh, um, man, it's been it took a while to get to this point. <laughs> Three months of non-stop work on this model. All I say non-stop, there was a lot of breaks, a lot of uh, instances of lower motivation, but overall I think things came out pretty well. For my first model, I'm satisfied with it. Bad dental jobs be like that. My dentist... I actually need to go back to my dentist, like, actually. It, I need to get one more dental appointment before I leave for university. <clears throat> you know, university for alien dragons. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I can do some neat little things with this model, like, uh, dentist. It's fun. It, that's, that's a, that's an internal thing right there, what Natty said. Um, but I can do some neat little things despite my very normal appearance. For example, I have little nice old firearms. Here, let me give y'all a better look. Just, just a nice little look. How do I look? Don't I look grand? All nice, stylized. Had to cheat and use a gradient because I couldn't get the exact way I wanted this drawn. <laughs> uh, I hope y'all appreciate the sound effects too. That was, that was a really fun thing to finally get working. Though it was a, it was a bitch tracking down some free sound effects that didn't require you to make some stupid account. It was annoying. But I got to work. Got my little chink chink tail. And we got this nice little ambient fire sound now. Just try yourself in cooking this. You could fry an egg while cracking it. Actually, wouldn't it wind up more hard boiled? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah. This is the this is the full thing. I got a little lazy on the legs. I was I was lazy on the legs. I was ready to get this done and like fucking I'm gonna be like this most of the time anyways. So it's not like it's the end of the world. I, oh no, I cannot see his pants. What will whatever will we do? Ah, uh, man, I love my little grin. Just ah, <laughs> uh, I. I'm very happy how the little grin turned out. Very, very nice. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, wonder how many people we got in here right now. Uh, five. That's a comfortable number, to be honest. I was, 
I was kind of paranoid if I would just suddenly pop off. I was actually, like, scared. <laughs> uh, but I'm I got my friends. Got some people. I hope y'all are having a good time. Hope y'all appreciate me within the first, uh, five minutes. I hope I made a good first impression. My voice is, uh, silky, buttery smooth, clearly. The deepest voice, the sexiest you will ever hear. I am the peak of grasping your attention. <laughs> ah. But yeah, um, shh. There's just a lot of... We got a little presentation for y'all today. Just a little something to... Tell y'all what I'm all about. And... What's gonna be going on here. What's gonna be going on with the channel. And, you know, throughout that, uh... Might show off a few other things with the model. That are completely normal. And not weird. At all. Stop being suspicious. <laughs> uh... So, unless anybody's got some things to say, I think we should just get right to it. Alright. So, here we have Rise, a brief history featuring Rise. That's me, in case you forgot. I hope you didn't. <laughs> ah, so, I could have done this presentation far more efficiently in OBS, but oh well, this is what we got. <clears throat> Here is the basic info. My name is Rizir, aka Rise, just in case you forgot. My height is around 6'1", though, if I ever feel a little nostalgic, <laughs> uh, it, I'm roughly around uh, 5,280 feet. I'm a tall, I, I used to be pretty tall, though, but I, I wanted to look like you guys. We'll get into that, though. So, I, 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 I lost a lot of weight. Actually, that's a lie, because my weight is actually around, uh, let's see here. This is 2,217,146,884.1 kilograms. Or, if you want to put that into uh, Cheeseburger Gunland language, that would be 4,708. I mean, 400,708,726,932.95 pounds. I'm a big boy. Memory won't fail me this time, Roser. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. You better remember that enti those entire numbers. It'll be on the quiz. Ugh. My age... Uh, I know humans live a pretty short time frame, but I I've been here a while... I don't really know how to convert Earth years into what I was used to, so y'all just need to know that, given some of y'all's personal research, uh, I'm at, I'm over 66 million, at the very least. It's more than that, but I, I'm old. I've seen some shit. Get off my lawn that I don't have because I live in an undisclosed mountain cave with no grass whatsoever. My interests and hobbies include gaming, surprise, surprise, I'm on Twitch, art, which is how I was able to, you know, be able to tolerate making this model, even though the model art was the worst part. I, <laughs> oh, model art is the reason it's going to be a while till I make a fully new model again. Rigging was fun. Rigging was very fun, though. Uh, I like to play Magic the Gathering, though I've kind of fallen off of it recently. Um, I'm all... I'm a complete and other, uh, what's the, basic bitch. I'm a basic bitch who only plays commander. <laughs> I don't play modern, I don't play, uh, standard or any of that stuff. It's, it's, it's just not my speed because I don't get to play Dak on Blackblade and actually be able to win. Uh, that's my favorite deck, by the way. I have a Dak on Blackblade. Did the fucking music cut out again? Overclocked Remix, for the love of God. Alright, there we go. Hope y'all like Rainbow Road. It's where you go where you die. If you get that reference, you're cool. And anyways, so Magic the Gathering. Uh, yeah, big fan. Esper's my favorite color combination as well. I love it. It does everything I want it to do. Dakon is the reason you play MTG. <laughs> Actually, that would probably have been Zombies first. Zombies are 
my primary tribe, which is funny because I don't care for zombies in, like, any other media. I only like them in Magic. And it's entirely because of Army of the Damned. I love that card. Even though I don't play it, even though I know it's bad, I love it. It's one of my faves. But in addition to all that, I am into economics. It's my, it's the academic subject I am going into. And, uh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get a bit more into that later. But I like it. It, it's gra it grasps me, it tickles the old brain stem, or whatever, wherever that's stored. I'm not in psychology. My favorite games. Dragons do love shiny coins. Oh, because economics. I thought we were still talking about magic. Love counting them. Hey, my, my not hoard has no coins in it. We got, we got, uh, we got Persona 4 on the TV. We got a GameCube. We got Gengar. A Switch. Uh, Dorothy, the mannequin, who I found on the side of the street. A lot of Kirby stuff. A couch that I've broken. But I got a mini fridge. You always gotta have a mini fridge. I keep my cans of Zevia in there. Bitcoins perhaps. Uh, no. No. Alright, for the only crypto that's even slightly worthwhile is Monero. Everything else is just a fucking, uh, multi-level marketing bullshit. Even them. But, uh, anyways, uh, what was I thinking about? Oh yeah, I was in the middle of a presentation. I have a, I have a very good memory, I promise. Uh, so, back to this. Uh, so favorite games, Kirby. I wonder what gave you that idea. <laughs> Kirby, uh, I have a bit of an interesting history with Kirby. I only started off with Kirby Air Ride, but, um, and that was all I had for a while, which Kirby Air Ride's great. They need a sequel, and I wanted to, you know, City Trial, all that jazz, the stuff everybody wants. Um... But later down the line, I wound up playing Return to Dreamland. That's where it really became my favorite franchise. Though it took about a year for me to realize that. It's not as much of a fixation as it used to be. Mostly because of Star Allies. It's... Star Allies really... Killed a lot of my Kirby love. But it's still my favorite. It's just not entirely 100% in my head constantly all the time. Though I still get giddy when I finally found a Kirby Switch case <laughs> yesterday. That only took, like, what, uh, se seven years? When did the Switch come out? It took too long. Nintendo hates making money. They could have just made Kirby Air Ride 2. Yeah. Well, that's more on how. But whatever. Chibi Robo. I am one of the five people that's played Chibi Robo. I grew up with that game. I absolutely adored it. And, uh, I'm sad, man. I'm sad. Chippy Robo's pretty much dead in the water at this point because of Ziplash. Not even Scott the Waz could save it. It makes me so, so sad. But it is what it is. Best I can do is carry on the legacy it should have had. Because Nintendo sure as hell tried to kill it at every point whatsoever. Uh, Fire Emblem. I, my history of Fire Emblem, it's probably how it started for a lot of people. Um, I got a 3DS at launch, and the Ambassador program gave you, like, all those Game Boy games. I played Sacred Stones, and I was marathoning that throughout the entire night. I stayed up so late playing Sacred Stones. It was so addicting, and I loved it. I never beat it, though. I've tried to go back and beat it a few times, but I've never been able to do so. The reason I even stopped that playthrough in the first place was because I coddled my lord... <laughs> Which you should never do. Level up your lord, please. But, yeah. I would say, I, I, I'm gonna be basic. My favorite is Three Houses. Golden Deer for the win. I love Claude. I love every single one of the Golden Deer. The story isn't as good as the other ones. Well, it isn't as good as Blue Lines. I didn't even finish uh, the Black Eagles. I didn't care. I didn't like Edelgard. I hate Edelgard. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I, I love the Golden Deer route. And, yeah. Hilda is best girl, by the way. I love my bimbo with a heart of gold. 
Uh, Persona 4, my absolute favorite game of all time. It came at a point in my life where I was really, really low, and it completely changed my perspective on, like, myself, on, like, so, so many things. It, it is the reason I was able to get out of that funk. And it carried me, and to this day, I constantly think about it and its impact on me. No game has impacted me the way Persona 4 did. Uh, let's see. Let's catch up on the comments. There's been a few. Uh, Golden Chibiroba now lives in my heart, especially the OST. Yes, because I keep sending it to you. Uh, Golden Deer. Hell yeah. It'll guard to use what Scar is to me. You better be careful saying that here, Natty. You don't know who's watching. I literally couldn't play the other routes because they're so boring compared to GD. Well, I liked Blue Lion's story. The class had something to be desired. Uh, you had Dimitri, who was great. And that's about it. <laughs> Every A lot of people in Blue Lions were just boring to me. Let's not knock over my phone, please. I need my face tracking. Uh, Persona 4 is on another level. level. It's okay. I'm ready to die by Scara fans' hands. As you say, for the record, I don't play Genshin, she does, and I make fun of her for it all the time. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> uh, Smash Bros. I play it with my friends all the time. I'm not competitive. I'm in Kirby. Surprise, surprise. The most I would say is I'm like a high-tier casual player. I could beat the I could beat the ass of probably most normal Smash players, but you throw me in a competitive setting, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. So, yeah. That's the that's the deal with that. Skull, little pixel art roguelite, not super popular. It's not like Hades, it's not like Binding of Isaac. But it's like the first game that I started playing on here before my debut today. And I love the shit out of it. And there seems to be a new update coming out sometime soon with stuff they've been teasing on Twitter. I'm very excited for it. Uh, my favorite skull is... Uh... That's actually a difficult question. Uh, hmm. I would say my the one I probably get the highest dopamine rush from is Ghoul. Ghoul is just fun. He's bad. Well, he's better now. But he used to be bad. But even when he was bad, I had a blast with him. It's hard not to have fun with Ghoul. Splatoon. I've gotten back into that recently because of 3. Uh, I'm a Jet Squelcher main. You can feel my pain. Just by saying that, I hate... Ugh. Give it something that is not angle shooter. I don't care what it is. You can give me the sprinkler. I'll get more utility out of that. Uh. And then, of course, we have uh, uh, Sonic, which is entirely because of Frontiers. I fucking love Frontiers. I'm a Sonic fan again because of Frontiers. I have been blasting the OST daily. So, yeah. Uh, that's all some basic info about yours truly right here. So let's talk about my favorite human, who is, uh, not here right now, 100% totally. Uh, he's very, just unrelated to me whatsoever. But Oberon nice too. Oberon is an item. Oberon is an item, Night Kaiju. Get it right. I'll find you. I have, I have your IP address, probably. I don't know. All right. Uh, my favorite human is 24 years old. Uh, he recently turned that like a couple months ago. We'll be celebrating that birthday next year, though. He, I may have or may not have modeled my little form here after me. I can do some little, I can do some little shape shifting. We'll talk about that later, though. Uh. What the hell's going on? Huh. Hold up. Uh, okay. Perfect. VTube Studio decided to have a seizure. Okay. Uh, anyways, my favorite human. He's done a lot of nice stuff. Um, he's made a little Undertale cross Kirby sprite comic that he called Underpuff. He does some art on the side every so often. He'll probably be getting into some more later. Well, soon. Not later. Because he's finished up a lot of busy work. Total related to his own VTuber model, which he got inspired to make because of a certain particular moth that 
really just wowed him and made him want to get off his ass and do this. I wish him luck, though. And he's also in economics. What a surprise. Fight me, I haven't forgiven you for what happened to the dinosaurs. How do you know about that? How do you know about that? Who told you? We haven't gotten to that point. Have you hacked me? Do you have my IP address? Whatever. Anyways, uh, here's a quick lore summary. I'll just give you time to take it in. I hope that makes sense to everyone. But, uh, in case you're small-brained and you, you just can't comprehend the absolute masterpiece presented before you, uh, we'll just go ahead and explain it a bit, shall we? So my home planet is called Jomaos. It's a constant chaotic mess of just complete bullshit and tomfoolery. Like, look at that. Okay, that isn't an actual picture of the planet. Y'all haven't discovered it yet, but that's about what you can ex expect. It's it's a clusterfuck. The weather is constantly shifting. Sometimes it's raining rocks, sometimes it's raining flames, sometimes it's flaming rocks, sometimes it's rocking flames. It's just, I wouldn't recommend it. Look what happened to poor Alan down there. Read his quote. He died, like, within ten seconds. And if you're wondering who Alan is, he was a he was an influential figure. We will always remember Alan. But despite all of this, and despite Alan's unfortunate demise, life was somehow able to flourish here. I'm living proof of that. Ugh. Hide that, please. Thank you. As for the species name, I am a Dromaean. Ah, very original name, very creative. 10 out of 10. We are good at what we do. We're alien dragons, effectively, and we have some, sh and as I said, we have some shape-shifting abilities that were pretty much evolved so we could survive on the chaotic mess known as Dromaeos. It, <laughs> it was pretty much necessary. You gotta adapt to all the, all the rocks, all the flames, all the lightning, all the snow, just whatever the hell came at you, you needed to be able to adapt, and... This was nature's little solution. Though we're not straight up changelings, we do have some level of base anatomy that we need to keep intact. For me, it kind of involves uh, this uh, little fire stuff. Oh, my sound effects are off. Sec. Ah, there we go. It involves these little flames. That's part of mine. Though, rest assured, I look completely normal under here. No, nothing odd whatsoever. I am completely normal. <laughs> uh, the changes most of the time are not really anything big, though. It's just, like, minute stuff to adapt to these drastic changes and make ourselves a little more effective at dealing with them. It's just, you know, minute stuff to adapt to minute-to-minute -minute circumstances or rage-inducing set of segments. Though, of course... That's 99.9%. .9%. Can you take a guess at who the 0.1% is? I bet you can't. It was me. I'm the 0.1%. <laughs> hmm. Though, uh, despite everything, we were able to have something of a sort of society. And it's all thanks to our, uh, lovely, air quotes, queen. Over time, we were able to evolve and be able to use some of our powers to travel through space. I'll be able to divulge my little uh, way of doing it here in a second, but bar none, the most powerful out of all of us is our queen, and she reined us all in and decided, hey, this planet fucking sucks. Let's go somewhere else and just... Make our home there and take whatever the hell we damn well please. Because fuck this place. Side effects of this kind of conquest included death and destruction of any other competing apex life that could pose a threat to us on each planet. And despite this cruelty, it was very effective. We started to prosper, we started to populate, and... <laughs> 
there wasn't really much other evolved life that could really consider us even a universal threat. I don't know what it's like these days, though, which we'll also get into. Rip Allen. Pour one out for my boy. Allen. He'll be missed every day. Insert generic simp joke here. I didn't do not. You probably shouldn't simp for her. She is. Her powers. It's difficult to say. She pretty much looks at you. And suddenly you are goop. Nobody has really been able to figure out exactly how she does it, though. It's odd. Hmm. Anyways, let's talk about my history. Because, uh, despite my pretty optimistic outlook right now, despite my pretty optimistic demeanor, I wasn't always the nicest, uh, thing in the universe. Let's go over this again. My name is Rise. I hope you didn't forget, please. Don't forget my name. I plastered it everywhere. I, I need you to remember, guys. And my occupation was... Roughly translates to Armageddon Emissary. My goal, my job, was to go to planets and pretty much just do that whole part where you kill all the Apex life and just raise the ever-living shit out of the planet so you could have it for yourself. I was very, very good at my job. I had like a 99.9% .9 success rate. Though... Part of the job involves, you know, not completely destroying the entire planet. You just go there, kill all the things that are a threat to us, and then make way for everyone else. You should wear a badge, I think. Are you sure about that? That doesn't sound very, uh, conducive to your own survivability, if you're proud of me for that. Just saying. But, it was the 99.9% .9 success rate. Can you guess what the point one was? I'll give you a hint. Look down. <sighs> so here's my little story. It's thought that the meteor is what killed the dinosaurs, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, it wasn't a meteor, wasn't the Ice Age. No, no, it was me. I'm a really big dragon, remember? You see, my body works like this. I store a bunch of oxygen and synthesize my own hydrogen within the confines of my chest. And through the high pressure, which builds up heat in there, I can combine them and propel fire through my arms like you're seeing right now. It kind of allows me to fly around. I can propel it out like a sort of a jet plane in a way. Can make it so I can punch really hard because it can go either up. It can either go up my arm or down my arm. Depends what I need in the moment. And pretty much you can imagine it like a more yellow, uh, charismatic, and handsome ball strax. If you know Monster Hunter at all. That's how I work. No, you're not getting the dinosaurs back. I'm sorry. If it means anything, it was an accident. Earth just had a lot more oxygen than I was used to on other planets I would go to. And uh, as I was entering the atmosphere, I, <laughs> I kind of lost control. And I just kept falling. And I couldn't stop. Then the sky went very dark. And then it was very barren. Everything was black around me. And I saw myself being very goopy in the future. And yes, this did affect the trout population. Just so y'all know. So, naturally, destroying the planet I was supposed to conquer did not sit well with Queenie. And she immediately came to the planet. Very fast. She's faster than me. She's faster than just about all of us. And, uh, yeah. She was not happy in all. Despite this, though, and despite me knowing that I was about to turn to goop in a few seconds, and I still don't know why she did this, I was spared. And she just left with one stipulation. I was stuck here for the rest of my life. If I left, I was going to get killed through one way or another. And frankly, knowing the extent of Queen's powers... 
I didn't want to find out exactly what was in store for me. So, yeah. This is my prison. But, I would say it's more of a home now. So, with a uh, completely barren landscape and absolutely nothing to do, nothing to see, no back streets to take, it's Smash Mouth's worst, worst nightmare. I decided I'm just going to go hibernate for a long time and hope things just kind of sort themselves out. So, I look around, find a decent cave within uh, something of a mountain range, and just make myself at home. Not much I can do. Staying awake means I starve. So, I just took what I had and went to sleep for a long, long time. About 66 million years, roughly. Mm. Hey, look, it's my name again. Did you forget it? I hope you didn't. <laughs> Um, so, I wake up in the morning, thankfully not feeling like P. Diddy, so I am spared from Kesha's wrath this time. And I go outside and, what did you know it? There's some grass I can touch. I've done what many people on the internet are incapable of doing, apparently. And I take a look around, and it's, there's more than just grass. There's all kind of plants and animals going about. If I was still employed, I would have to go kill all of those animals, essentially, but... It was at least the animals that were a threat. But this is kind of my new home now, so I just decide to leave it be. And I notice, most interestingly, and I've never seen something like this before, there was these interesting little bipedal, like, I believe it was Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens, you know yourself. Y'all were just kind of walking about, and me, a bored, roughly 16-mile-long dragon, and tall, 60 miles long and tall, just decided to watch y'all. And I gotta say, I enjoyed what I liked. I enjoyed what I saw. I liked what I saw. I'm still learning the English language a bit. <laughs> Give me time. <laughs> and one thing I just noticed was y'all were extremely extremely weak like ridiculously you had like no teeth no claws but you all managed to survive you managed to thrive despite this and you know given I'm kind of you know a agent of destruction for planets throughout the universe I wasn't used to this I didn't think this was possible and it's just despite all the adversity you had before you Climate, uh, predatorial threats, natural disasters, you thrived, and that was really, really cool. Sure, you had a few spats where you tried to conquer each, each other, but you always managed to get along at the end of the day, and it always propelled you further than you were before. It was, it was inspiring, really. And I just, yeah, I kind of hyper fixated on this shit. Homo Sapiens TV. <laughs> That's actually a trademark. I just found this on Google, on essentially Google Images. This is an actual thing that apparently got trademarked. But it fits, and that's all that matters. Despite the generic font. So, uh, <laughs> I, I kinda might have gotten a little too hyper fixated. And I start trying to push that whole shape-shifting ability to its absolute limits. And it's all for the purpose of trying to get closer to y'all, like I am right now. And I feel like I did a pretty good job. I just kept condensing this shit and condensing this shit further and further and further. I was even able to synthesize the clothes I'm wearing right now. Yeah, this suit is my skin. I mean, I kind of had to. I think fabric would be a little flammable, don't you think? <laughs> but eventually I reached this point, the one I'm at right now, with absolutely no weird Dromaine stuff in sight whatsoever. Minus the tail, minus the horns, minus the eyes. I have nothing weird going on whatsoever. Eh. Sorry, thought I had a bit of a sh- ah, too! That shit. shit! Um, uh, I, 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 ignore I this. I ignore this, please. I, I'm, I, I, uh, I can't tell the back. I couldn't do it all. Here's, uh, this is 
the anatomy I had to keep intact. I, I can put the spikes back in, but that's about it. As you can see, flames kind of come out of that, those little frilly, spiky things. And, uh, yeah, I don't have two eyes or a single mouth natively. So, uh, I hope y'all aren't too freaked out. I did my best. I really did. Don't run away. Ugh. Damn it. Chunky. Ugh. <laughs> uh, hey. Ugh. I hope that is- I hope that isn't, like, weird to y'all. I really tried. I really did. With any luck, y'all might like it, though. Y'all humans are weird these days, like... Low-key worried. Some of y'all like this a little too much, but... Yeah, that's besides the point. Ugh. But anyways, uh, that's kind of where we're all right now. I'm looking forward to spending time with all of y'all. Whether it be this form, this form, or this face and voice, I'm looking forward to having a good time with every single one of you. Though there's a few more things we need to cover. So, naturally, this is a Twitch channel, and I have plans for it. We got your typical stuff. We got the gaming. We got the chilling out like we're doing right now. At least I hope things are chill. I know the firearms might get in the way of that a bit. But I do my best. But you have more animal, I mean, alien dragon things. You got me with all that normal Twitch stuff. Welcome to Earth, Dino Killer. It was an accident. Okay, I, I tried, tried my best not, not to do that. I have 99.9% success rate, and all people like to focus on is the one time I fucked up. I hate it. Ugh. <sighs> Games that I'll inclu play include, you know, typical stuff I said at the beginning. I got a weird thing, though, where I always seem to wind up playing these niche -er games like Chibi-Robo, like Wonderful 101, like Xenoblade X, Billy Hatcher. I, I don't, I swear I don't do it on accident. I guess it's just something with my brain. Let me play this weird thing. <laughs> Alan, about time you showed up. <laughs> Must have been something to see this, huh? What do you think? I hope you're not too freaked out. I did my best to fix this, but I guess it's just gonna have to be part of me now, huh? Y'all seem to not be running away, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Val, you showed up. Nice to have you. We've been talking about my lore, and myself, and my favorite human who is totally unrelated to myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, typical Twitch stuff, but... There's something special I have in mind. Something I want to try that's going to be very experimental. Remember that econ, that economics thing I'm kind of into? Well, I kind of want to talk about e economics on here. It's le like my favorite human I took interest in, it, and I want to spend some streams reading some economic literature of a few varieties. So bear in mind, this is a very experimental thing, and we're going to just see how it goes. If you're worried about me covering a topic like this, don't worry. I'm just going to be largely reading through these books and just explaining and discussing the kind of topics they're covering. I will be very, as straight-laced and objective as I can be. My own opinions, my own philosophies... They aren't going to be having that much bearing, if any, in these. At least I'm going to try to. And hell, if I can't, if it proves to be that difficult for me, I'll probably just stop it. Like I said, this is extremely experimental. I haven't seen anyone really try and do this before, especially... In, well, I've seen people do this before, but not in a VTuber sense. I kind of I kind of want to fill a bit of a niche in that regard. But if you're still not interested in this, if you really don't want to hear me talk about stuff like, oh, I don't know, the price elasticity, 
I will be making sure that the line between econ streams and normal Twitch streams is very hardly drawn. You will not be allowed to discuss econ stuff outside of the econ streams, and I will not really talk about econ outside of them, outside of maybe like a passing comment here or there. I will be doing my absolute best to make sure that people can get the content that they want out of me and not have to really get much of anything else. That's my personal goal. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll just be a no another normal little VTuber alien dragon thing. Bang. God damn it, the sound effects turned off again. Audio Mimi. Why? There we go. That's better. Ugh. You know, for having that little tail, that's supposed to be my cue as to when they break. I'm not doing a very good job paying attention to it. I'm just too much of a chatterbox. I love focusing on myself talk. <laughs> Voice cracks. Listen. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Ugh. But as for what books I want to read, I have two on the list as of right now. There's Wealth of Nations, which is probably the least, like, ideological book I could possibly read re regarding econ, besides maybe a straight-up economics textbook, but I'd probably get into copyright issues with that. <laughs> yeah, uh, the book's got to be public domain. Let's just get that out of the way now. If they aren't public domain, uh, yeah, it's... I'm pretty much barred from reading them, and I'm, like... I literally see uh, audiobooks on YouTube of Wealth of Nations, so I assume it's public domain. <laughs> it better be public domain, or else I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> it's the first big econ book. It goes into basic building blocks, how those conclusions were kind of gotten to, and it's a long read, though. It's over a thousand pages. It is not light reading material in the slightest, but as far as the difficulty of reading is concerned, it's not that bad. It's not too hard to understand. It all makes sense to the average reader. And you really won't have to read, like, multiple paragraphs over and over again that often. The second book, and I'm really excited for this one, as you can tell by the image of the author that I put up there. Very accurate image, by the way. Uh, is Progress and Poverty. This is my favorite book, period. Like, in regards to just literature in general. It was only outsold by the Bible at the time that it was released, and it pretty much delves into analyzing why despite society's constant tending nature towards, like, more economic progress, more prosperity, poverty continues to exist, and it seems to just keep getting worse. And that was kind of the question that Henry George seeks to answer. Despite this being a shorter book than Wealth of Nations, though, it is a really hard read. Like, I read through it twice just to ensure that I fully grasped the material. And the book is, it's definitely advocating for some things, but it does it in a very, it's very more straight-laced and objective about it, in my own personal opinion. Consider this the absolute maximum of how, like, political a book I read on here will be. And even then, um, I was never going to hit zero on this shit anyway. Like, I was never going to be able to get to zero percent, like, ideological on anything I read. Even Wealth of Nations. It's just, like, the least. But Progress and Poverty, con consider that our absolute maximum. But yeah, uh, those are the two on my list right now. I'll probably try and find more. As for what I'm going to read first, I'm not too sure on that. Wealth of Nations would be, like, the logical choice, but like I said, it's extremely long. It's a 1,000-page book. It would probably take us, like, a year or maybe even more just to get through it. It would be a long, long read. And I'm not sure if I'm willing... I'm not too sure if I'm all that keen on reading through all of that to get to the book that I'm really excited for, Progress and Poverty. Like, I really want to read Progress and Poverty, like, completely 100%. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention with Progress and Poverty, uh, since it's a difficult read, I'll probably read the modernized version, which I hear is a lot more easier to understand and retain. I haven't read it myself yet. I read the full version twice, but 
if I do go for progress and poverty first, I'll probably read that. And even if I didn't, I probably would still read it. Because even though I have, I haven't finished Wealth of Nations, but even though I read a good chunk into it, progress and poverty was still hard as shit. Ah. Though, we're not going to be starting these econ streams for a while. I have a lot of stuff going on in real life, mostly in regards to going to university. So, expect these to start closer to around, like, January or sometime in February. That's the latest I would put it and the earliest. But yeah, this is a big, big passion of mine, and I'm very excited to be sharing it with people. And I hope you all are excited to hear about it, too. I'm gonna try not to alienate people, despite me being an alien. And I'm excited. I'm excited for it, and I hope y'all will be, too. And I have nothing else to say, so just have a picture of Kyle. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? I love Kyle. Uh, alright. So, yeah. That's all with me. I drop by even though the language confuses me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> even more reason. Hey, Vriska! <laughs> you, you, you managed to stop by. A little, a, just a, just a little late. I literally just got done with the entire lore and channel presentation. Aw. Uh, but, eh, there'll be the VOD, at the very least. Though, I can't, I can't show off this. I, wait. Audio Mimi, I will, I will destroy you. If you stop, if you keep breaking. Anyways. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's this. <laughs> my, my real name is Kyle, it is not, my real name is not Kyle. Kyle is the most important part. <laughs> Docs by my own, <laughs> docs by my own chat, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my, my real name is not Kyle. <sighs> my real name can be found around, just the first one, though. I'm not too concerned about that, though. It's a basic-ass name. Now, if my last name gets out, I'm fucked. But, first name is, eh, it's whatever. <laughs> uh... Oh wait, oh wait, what? I actually do know your real name, yeah, so shut up. <laughs> if people find it, they find it on their own, okay? <laughs> I'll come for you. Don't tempt me. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... I don't think there's really much more that I can talk about outside of the presentation, unless anybody's got some other questions or comments that I'm totally willing to answer, or you just want to see, uh, actually, there is a couple of other things I could talk about. Uh, don't worry, Raymond, we won't dox you. How dare you, sir? How dare you? I have a wife and kids. They're in my head, but I have them. <laughs> actually, no, my wife... My wife is, uh, Debbie, the mannequin back there. <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so, these little modes that I've been showing off, like this, this, and this, uh, I'll be planning, once I have the ability to be able to do so, uh, I'm gonna turn them into little chat redeems. So you can all toggle them on and off whenever y'all feel like it, provided you know you have channel points and shit. What's Debbie's last name? Ah. Uh, uh, hold on. Um, Debbie. Uh, Debbie Dover. Alliteration. <laughs> if they're in your head, let them out. No. <laughs> I need to keep them safe. You don't understand. They need to stay there for their own protection. If they don't, uh, what if I, if they don't, they might hit their head. If I hit my head, I'll be fine. I have a density that, while not black hole level, is still pretty fucking dense. Ugh. Oh yeah, I never even mentioned earlier, uh, 
they followed me before I started the stream, so I forgot to thank them. Uh, Phoenix Sanitizer Addict and Oliver James, thank you for following at the start of stream. I completely forgot to say something. De it's Debbie Dover. Debbie Dover. Get it right. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Once I hit, um, affiliate... After I get 50 followers and enough watch time, all the wonderful little Twitch requirements, I plan to make all the modes I've shown off today little toggle or redeems. Until then, though, I'll, I'll be, be having, having to turn them on myself. myself. Look at me go. Ooh, fire. Scary. Scare the little monkey people that I've watched for 66 million years. Though y'all got used to fire, so... You know, no skin off my back. That's your wife. You doxed your last name. We're not married yet. Duh. <laughs> I haven't proposed. Even then, I'll let her keep her last name. <laughs> yeah, no. My, la <laughs> my last name is just here. So it's Rise Here. <laughs> With the nickname of Two. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I hope everything's been good on this stream. I hope I've been entertaining. Hope I've been a good little alien dragon man. I'll definitely be uploading the VOD on my YouTube, which you can find in the uh, little chat, I mean the channel about down below. Um, so anyone who missed a large portion of this or missed the lore presentation can go look at that as well. And you haven't proposed to your wife. Uh, we're not legally married yet. Not yet. She's my wife in spirit. <laughs> don't get over it. Don't, don't grill me over this. <laughs> she is his wife. She just doesn't know it. <laughs> yeah, she don't have ears. <laughs> she just sits there in the pile and chills. It's her ideal lifestyle. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, let me get a sip of my drink. I am thirsty as shit after all this talking. Gotta do the classic Twitch streamer hydration. Ugh, else I'll concern everyone. She's about to be my wife. I'm stealing her. You gotta find my mountain cave first. You don't know where I live. I ain't told anyone. Only people who know my location are a few government people. And they all refuse to come back here. I miss them. I wanted to give them tea. I wanted to talk to them. They keep firing their guns at me. But all the bullets bounce off because I'm so dense. It's really, it, it's been very difficult for them to deal with me. But I don't even want to hurt them. I just want to be friends. So I stopped trying to be friends with them and I started a Twitch channel instead. So that way I can be friends with humans and they don't run away screaming. In spite of everything. Y'all haven't run away screaming yet. Somehow. I'm still very confused by this. Usually this one gets people running away real, real fast. But y'all are still here. It makes me so happy. I finally have human friends. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Uh, hold on. Immersion break. My headphones hurt. <laughs> my headphones are hurting my ears. Ugh. And my back hurts too. Damn my tilted pelvis. Also, I just realized Ace Attorney music is playing. That makes me happy. Oh, yeah, I'm a big Ace Attorney fan. I completely forgot to mention that. I kept meaning to put it in the presentation, and then I kept forgetting. Ace Attorney hasn't been on my mind for a while. Uh, not since I beat the great Ace Attorney. Very good game, by the way. I love it. Uh, though, more so two than one. Two, I'm, one had its pacing issues. Its infamous pacing issues. I ain't spoiling anything for you or Vriska, okay? Y'all can calm down. I, I'm not gonna spoil that. I'm just telling you the quality. I hope... <laughs> I hope you don't mind quality spoilers. I'm, I'm just imagining, like, some, like, internet game reviewer just giving something like a... A uh, four out of five, and then somebody being like, "Dude, spoilers! I didn't want to know how good the game was before I bought it. Now that now the experience of being enthralled or disappointed is ruined for me. How dare you?" 
Ugh. I'm not sure if I how I feel about Ace Attorney plus Wrath, though. No, I don't think it sounds bad. I just feel like I just prefer the normal sounds. Normal uh, OSD, you know? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. How long have we been going? Hour, five minutes. That ain't bad. That ain't bad for a debut stream. I'm just trying to make sure everything's wrapped up in a nice little bow. A bow that is perhaps made of fire. I, ha I have too much fun with these sound effects. Can you tell? I worked very hard on getting these sound effects. I wanted the sound effects so badly, dude. You have no idea. I wanted to make sure that shit worked. The fire was one I really wanted to get. Uh, and I, I managed to just make everything pretty seamless, you know, for the most part. I'm really glad I found a site that had all these sound effects and didn't require me to make an account, seriously. That was so annoying. Just, hey, free sound effects. Uh, you have to make an account first. Why? Why do you need to know I'm downloading fireballcast.wav? It doesn't make sense. I hate it. You're the best at not spoiling stuff in my experience. Yeah, I, it's because I'm a Xenoblade fan. Do you have any idea what we do to ensure that people don't know the identity of Seven? Not even Monolith Soft cares about Seven anymore. Not even Sakurai cares about Seven. But we do. We continue to care about Seven. We continue to care about everything. Because Xenoblade's story is the best part of the game. Not to say the gameplay is bad, though. I love the gameplay. I fucking love X from a gameplay perspective. Though not a story perspective, though. But I really want to play that on stream. I would love to play Xenoblade X. It's been so long. So I would have a blast. <sighs> yeah, I think I tried to replay through it. What, what I originally wanted to do with Xenoblade X was defeating every, like, unique monster. I thought that was going to be a fun time. And I almost did it. I only had, like, the hardest ones left. The one that scared me the most was Vortice, the Dyphic Blast. Because he's a big, like, tentacle dragon that hovers above a volcano when it's raining fire. Reminds me of home. And, uh... I tried to hit him with my ult my uh, super weapon on my scale, which is a giant mech. It didn't even put a dent in him. And he was coming for me, and I just bolted. Like, I stopped flying, and I just started crashing to the ground as fast as possible while he was on my tail. I was scared shitless. It was it was hilarious uh, in retrospect, but in the moment I was terrified. Because uh, these things... Hold on, I'm actually going to pull up one of them. This is how we're going to end the stream. With a with a good old picture of Vortice the Dyphic Blast. Looking him up. Oh, there he is. My nightmare fuel. Uh, cop, uh, actually, I'll probably have to... Actually, I can probably just copy the link, can I? I'm still learn. I'm, I'm learning how to efficiently use OBS still. Uh, browser, sure. Boom. There he is. Behold. Look at him. This thing was flying after me with that giant shit-eating grin on its face. I was scared. Beyond comprehension. <laughs> after I didn't even put a dent in it. With, like, my giant claw weapons. I hate him. I love him. But I hate him. He... He... Still haunts my nightmares to this day. Mm. Oh, actually. Actually, I do want to... <laughs> I have something I actually want to show. So, this form. You can probably notice that little thing on my chest is moving. That's my chest cavity. That's where I uh, take in oxygen to store in my chest so I can do the whole fire thing. And immersion break. Oh, yeah. I well, one thing at a time. Um, immersion break, uh, I took inspiration from a Xenoblade enemy for this. 
and that was a Xenoblade X enemy for this, and that was the Egrolith. Which is a little difficult for me to say. But the reason I took it after the Egro lifts is, uh. Take you. Browser source. Because I don't want to save this image. That's more cumbersome. Uh, they have a little chest cavity right there. And it opens up for them to, like, release a bunch of, like, energy they've stored or whatever. It was one of my... When I re remembered Egrolith's while I was doing this design, I was like, oh my god, I'm doing that. I'm 100% doing that. You know, let me try and, uh... I wanna... So, as you can see, uh, I still have pants. There is a design underneath here. I have a design for the legs. I just want that said. But I didn't want to play with fire with Twitch. So I played it safe and I kept the pants on. There's nothing under there. I'm just telling you right now. There, There's absolutely nothing under there. That's not part of my anatomy. Not my native anatomy. But, um... Uh, I will be releasing a reference for this on my Twitter. For anyone that wants to do uh, fan art of this form and you're uh, some of you might probably be wondering why the hell do you have this basic ass suit and then this actually cool looking design um in addition to this just kind of being the design i've had for the character for ages now um i wanted to have an easier to draw design for people who might want to draw fan art of me but aren't as experienced i wanted something that was a little easier to make essentially and i thought i thought that was a cool thing for me to do ken doll biology <laughs> uh ken doll with 50 percent more fire and weird alien shit and by 50 i mean like 50,000. but yeah i'll be releasing that i think actually my next stream my next stream that i'm going to do is going to involve uh, me just drawing the rest of that reference. Well, drawing reference for a completely unrelated character that just happens to look like Ryzeer, uh on my next stream. Just speaking of reference, no relation whatsoever and nothing you should connect it to. Just in case you thought that it was. But... There is a chance, potentially like five minutes after drawing it and posting it on Twitter, that I might decide, hey, you know, this would work for Ryzeer. And then they'll be the same. But that'll never happen. They are very different characters. So don't worry about it. Okay? I'm being 100% honest. You, you trust, trust me, man, right? I'm, I'm a, a trustworthy trust guy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, plans for full reference are gonna be coming out. But until then, uh, what you saw on stream is what you get. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I've actually run out of stuff to talk about at this point for my debut. Um... So, thank you all. I'm really glad that people showed up. I'm. If you enjoyed what you saw, I really hope you follow or whatever you have, whether it be on here or on Twitter. The faster I get to affiliate, the more flexibility I'll have in making streams more interactive, and I look forward to that. I and mean, of course, there's money too, but. I'm gonna be real, I don't really have intentions of making this full-time, even if I do find success. For a few reasons. But, uh, really, really, I just want to be able to make these talkable. Like, I really want to get to that as fast as possible, because that's the big reason I even made these. I wanted some kind of, like, cool interactivity like that. But yeah. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed me. Hope y'all stop by again on, uh, Next stream will be 
either Monday or Tuesday. I'll make up my mind by then. But until then, you all have a wonderful day, and I hope you all enjoy any other debuts that are going on today, because there are a lot. There are like several VTubers that are debuting today. It's kind of funny. But thank you for stopping by for mine. It means a lot. So, yeah. Y'all have a good day. Take care of yourselves. And have a damn good one.